Hey guys, this is Jack's Photoshop Tots, and today I'm going to show you how to make this. Now I know last week I said, oh, I'm going to show, I'm going to make this thing, that that blue thing that was on my thing, but I couldn't quite remember how to do that, so I decided to do this. And besides, this one's a lot better looking, and it's it'll be a lot more fun to do. But yeah, there it is. Now. This is like very easy. It's not really hard, not hard. It's probably it's harder than the last one. I know I didn't put much effort into the last one. I, I was being rushed by a friend. Um but yeah. Um this one shouldn't be that hard for you guys to do. So firstly you want to find a texture. Now I already found one and all I did was search in texture, grunge texture actually. I searched in grunge texture in Google. And that got me come on. That got me hmm, this. Now I know you're saying it's in colour, but I'll show you how to do that next. Well anyway minimize that. Um, you want to start off by opening Photoshop. I've already got mine open obviously. Once you've got your texture you want to um, open it up. So file, open and then wherever it's saved. For example mine is saved in pictures so I'm just gonna open that up. So yeah there's my texture and notice how I've got the at the bottom that's because I accidentally you know copied it straight off the website instead of downloading the file but I can just get rid of that easily just do that go on, say if yours has got something at the bottom just go on crop make sure that that's underneath just click crop then click crop again and that'll go there we go. Alright, so now once you've got your texture, you want to go on, I think it's, yeah, image adjustments and then desaturate or shift control U. Now you'll have black and white, that's what you need. And then you want to create a new layer, go on the paint tool, make sure that one's selected, um, make it a size that you actually like want, so a size big enough to paint like six blobs on screen of different color. So I'm just gonna paint paint one green there, blue. But you get what I mean. Just paint anything anywhere. Just be creative. Um. Dark blue. I want a purple. There is any purple. There we go. Now, once you've done that, you want to go on, click on this layer here, and then click on that where you get all these options. And you want to go right the way down to color. Now that will turn it into something like that. Uh, next, you want to go on to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now, click preview off, and then you can see like before and after. Just basically move the slider up and down. Say it's like that. It's basically filtered everything. When it's like that. Look, see what I mean. So just set it until you can see them like all the colours blending and you think it looks good. So I'm just gonna have mine about there. Okay. Now you want to click or press Control E 
and that will merge both of these layers and then you want to go on uh, I think it's layer no um, image oh get off image adjustments and then exposure now that you'll get three sliders the gamma correction and offset if you slide them up oh wait no wait slide that down make your dark bits darker slide that up make it lighter no, I want to set that to zero so I'm just gonna set my gamma correction up if you move this up it will go darker move this up it will go lighter so I'm just gonna that looks about good for me but just like mess around with it until like you think it looks good and I like that at the moment so I'm gonna click OK and next you wanna go on filter no not filter image I think it's adjustments yeah adjustments and levels now slide this one across and it'll move the dark along to the right side move this one across and it'll move the lighter over this side if you get me so basically just mess around with these sliders until you think look good that looks okay for me now you get to add in your text or whatever you want so I'm just gonna add in my text let's drag a little rectangle box now make sure your text color is white if not white it won't work so just type in that ps make sure your thing is stretched right the way across the screen because that helps if you want it bigger or anything well, make that bigger right now you want to go on select all but click on this layer actually no I think it's this layer select all there we go now you want to click and um, where is it now that one the one with the big rectangle a little square next to it click that and then you want to click the one with which is the same but like facing up that should align it perfectly in the center now mine is perfectly in the center but it needs to go across a bit more so I'm just gonna move that so select deselect there we go now for me that looks alright at the moment but we're not done yet so now you want to go on um, I think it's this layer yeah this layer and uh, you want to hit control and then you see a little box goes over the arrow just click on that little picture there with the text right so that should select everything in that layer Oh, notice mine selected. Now you want to click the little I button there. And then notice how it will be selecting nothing. Now hit Control J. So let's just hide this. Look, you've got. You'll have whatever you put in, whether it was a uh, logo, text, whatever. That will be from the background. It will take it from the background and put it there. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, uh, now you want to go on hide this. Click on layer 1. The one that you just created. <laughs> and um, now you want to go on I think it's image. Yeah. Image adjustments. Exposure again. 
Now you want to make it so it just sticks out a little bit or as much as you want because you'll notice that nothing's really happened much here. Just ignore that. Nothing really has happened much here but like if you make it just right so you can see, at least see every single bit of the text. Yeah, that looks alright for me. Now you want to click OK. Now you can't. You can see that. Oh yeah, there's just some text there. But once now you have to go on blending options, drop shadow and stroke. Now leave stroke as it is. That's fine. In fact, I'm going to change mine to four because make it look a bit better. Now you want this is 120 degrees. You want the opacity to 100%. And now just mess around with these three sliders here until you think it looks good. So I'm just gonna. And then click this contour little arrow there click and click that one I think it's that one and now notice how it's changed a lot just cha move the size down a bit and then you can see that there now you want to click OK and that is it 